गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माइ सेल्फ विकास तिवारी पीजीटी बायोलॉजी फ्रॉम पीजी सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल आई एम हियर विथ माई नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फॉर क्लास टेंथ दैट इज एक्सक्रेशन एंड एक्सक्रेटरी सिस्टम इन केस ऑफ एक्सक्रेशन इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस बाय विच ऑल द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट इज द प्लांट्स एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमन बींग एलिमिनेट द नाइट्रोजिनस वेस्ट outside of the body so what is excretion so the elimination of nitrogenous waste outside of the body is called excretion because due to metabolic activities there are many type of toxic substances nitrogenous waste that is especially ammonia urea uric acids are formed and their elimination is very important from outside of the body that is from uh, animal body from human being because that toxic substances are harmful for our body so the elimination of all type of toxic substances like nitrogenous waste uh, ammonia urea uric acid outside of the body is called excretion actually excretion is a biological process so the biological process involved in the removal of the harmful metabolic waste that is urea ammonia uric acid from the body is called excretion so for excretion a well developed complex excretory system occur in case of higher animals and in case of human being so one by one we will discuss about excretion in animals and after that about excretion in human beings now about excretion in animals so in case of higher animals a well developed excretory system is present and that excretory system helps in the excretion of harmful substances outside of the body and in some animals the excretion occurs through simple diffusion means some animals excrete their excretory product through simple diffusion commonly some bony fishes and aquatic insects and aquatic amphibians so they excrete ammonia in the form of excretory product through diffusion so through diffusion some bony fishes aquatic insects and uh, aquatic amphibians excrete ammonia in the form of a uh, excretory product because it is more toxic for our body and it requires large amount of water for its elimination in case of higher animals so in higher animals ammonia is more toxic substance and it requires more water for its elimination outside of the body and in case of excretion in animals the elimination of metabolic waste products from the animal body to regulate the composition of body fluids and tissue is called excretion in animals so through metabolic process that is the anabolic process and catabolic process many toxic substances are formed in our body and their elimination is important outside of the body because that all toxic substances are harmful for our body and their elimination from animal body is uh, through a special type of excretory system is called excretion in animals there are three categories are occur in case of animals on the basis of types of elimination of excretory products because some animals excrete ammonia like a excretory product some animals excrete urea while some animals excrete uric acid so on the basis of types of uh, toxic substances the animals are of three types that is amnotelic animals ureotelic animals 
and uricotelic animals. So on the basis of types of excretory product, there are three types of animals that is amnotelic, ureotelic and uricotelic. So the amnotelic animals only excrete ammonia and the process of excretion of ammonia in the form of a toxic substance is called amnotelism. Amnotelism means the process of elimination of ammonia is called amnotelism and the animals which secrete ammonia like a toxic substance are called amnotelic. An example many bony fishes, aquatic amphibians and aquatic insects these are the amnotelic animals which secrete ammonia by the process of amnotelism. After that ureotelism. So the process of excretion of urea. The process of excretion of urea like a toxic substance is called ureotelism and the animals which excrete urea like excretive product are called ureotelic animals. As example mammals, many terrestrial amphibians and marine fishes. These are the examples of ureotelic animals because they excrete only urea by the process of ureotelism. Last is uricotelic animals. Uricotelic animals only excrete uric acid that is in semi-solid medium. So uricotelin the process of excretion of uric acid uric acid is called uricotelis and the animals which excrete uric acid in the form of excretive product are called uricotelic and example reptiles birds insects these are the examples of uricotelic animals because they, sec uh, they excrete only uric acid in the form of a toxic substances now the second number is excretion in plant so unlike animal body there are no any special type of organ or systems are present in case of plants uh, for excretion or elimination of the excretive products but uh, plants also excrete some waste products like uh, carbon dioxide oxygen water carbon dioxide especially during respiration when the breakdown of food material occur inside the plants because after photosynthesis the food material breaks and release energy so the breakdown of food material uh, that is catabolic process means respiration so through respiration plants release carbon dioxide and through photosynthesis because in case of photosynthesis it is a process by which all green plants synthesize their own food. So after photosynthesis, plant body release oxygen and during uh, respiration, plant body release carbon dioxide and water. So water, carbon dioxide and oxygen, these are the main waste product along with some waste metabolite like gums, resins, especially in old xylem. So in case of plants, no any special type of excretory system occur for the excretion of toxic substances from a plant body to outside. So in animal body, a well-developed excretory system is present for elimination while in case of plants, no any special type of excretory system occur for the elimination of these type of waste products. Plant body without any excretory system can excrete their excretory product outside through some simple processes that is the plants get rid of waste products accumulated leaves bark fruits of trees by shedding of leaves peeling of bark and falling of fruits respectively so through this process plant body excrete their excretive products and commonly plant body excrete uh, uh, 
other toxic substances are waste products like tannins resins gums and alkaloids so in plant body there are many type of waste products are formed by the process of metabolism that is during photosynthesis and during respiration during photosynthesis some waste products are formed and during respiration some waste products are formed so both type of waste products eliminated through plant body by the process of excretion in the absence of special type of excretory system so excretion occur in case of plants in case of animals as well as in case of human being so in next video we will discuss about excretion or excretory system of human beings now thanks